Assalamu alaikum dear students I am Dr Shazia and I welcome all of you in our YouTube channel Info Biodiversity Today this video is very important for you that you will learn everything related to botany in this video So let's start with biology what is biology Biology is the study of living organism or it is the scientific study of life there are three main branches of biology botany zoology and microbiology microbiology is the study of microorganisms zoology is the study of animals and botany is the study of plants so directly going to our topic that is botany what is the detailed definition of botany Botany is the scientific study of physiology, structure, genetics, ecology, distribution, classification and economic importance of plants. So, who is the father of botany? Theophrastus is called as father of botany. Botany is term derived from boskin means cattle feed. So, what the cattle will be eating is nothing but plants. about dead plants we are going to study in botany there are different types of plants in this world some plants are very small we call them phytoplankton they are microscopic and there are also huge plants like banyan trees and some plants are also there who lived for 5000 years or more in this diversity of plants we learn herbs shrubs trees climbers creepers etc so that's why there is need to classify plants to avoid any chaos in study so we are going to differentiate all of these in two parts cryptogams and phanerogams both of them have common word gams means gametes gametes are simplest unit of sex cell crypto means hidden or invisible and cryptogams means hidden gametes in this flowers and sexual parts are hidden a cryptogam is a plant that reproduces by spores without flowers or seeds it is also called as non seed bearing plants second is phanerogam What is the meaning of phanero? Phanero means visible. In this parts of reproductive organs that is flowers and seeds are visible. So cryptogams means non-flowering plants and phanerogam means flowering plants. So the cryptogams are further divided into thallophyta, bryophyta and pteridophyta. In thallophyta the plant body is thalloid that is plant body is not differentiated into roots stems and leaves these plants are like filaments so the plants that lack roots stems and leaves are known as thallophyta it is further divided into two parts on the basis of presence and absence of chlorophyll that is algae and fungi chlorophyll is present in algae group and beside chlorophyll there are some color pigments are also present and due to this algae can prepare their own food and called autotrophs in another group that is fungi chlorophyll is totally absent and for their food they are totally dependent on other plants and animals that's why they are called as heterotrophic means that they are totally dependent on other plants and animals for their food Now we will discuss about bryophyta. Mostly they are thallard plants and the roots in this plant is totally absent. Instead of roots there is the presence of rhizoids in this bryophytes group. Some plants may have stem like and leaf like structures but roots are totally absent in this group. Now bryophytes are further divided into leaverworts, hornworts and mosses first leaverworts in this as the name shown lever is present in this the plant looks like lever in structure so that's why it is called as leaverworts 
Next is hornworts. In these plants, there is a sporophytic or spore bearing structures are present, which is like horn, as the name shown, hornworts. In this horn like structure, spores are present. Third one is mosses. In this group of plants, rhizoids are present, stem and leaf like structures are also there, and spore bearing structures are present, which is known as capsule. So they are called mosses. The different character, the capsule is present in mosses. Now the third group is Tridophyta, which is more developed than Thallophyta and Bryophytes. In this, I didn't mention that in Thallophytes and Bryophytes there are vascular tissues are present. But in Tridophytes, there is the presence of vascular tissues which is also known as conducting tissues. So they are also known as vascular plants that there is the presence of xylem and phloem in these plants that conduct water and food materials in plants. Tredo means feathery structures that they have compound leaves having feathers like structure. Tredophytes are further divided into Xylophyta, Lipidophyta, Calamophyta and Tredophyta. So the first is Xylophyta. They are simple dichotomously branched plants. They lack true leaf roots but have vascular tissues. The second one is Lipidophyta. They are spore type and they are present in fossils uh, having vascular tissues. Third one is Calamophyta. They are multicellular plants also known as hostels. Means plant with hollow jointed stem bears walls of narrow leaves producing spores. Ecosystem belongs to Tidophyta. Their fossils have also found in Devonian period. The fourth one is Tidophyta. They are seedless vascular plants and reproduce by spores and they may be homosporous or heterosporous. Now we will discuss about Phenerogams. As mentioned earlier, they are seed bearing flowering plants. The phenerogams are further differentiated into two parts that is gymnosperms and angiosperms. Gymnosperms and angiosperms both have same words sperms which means seeds. Both groups are seed bearing plants. In gymnosperm, gymno means naked and sperm means seeds. So the gymnosperms are naked seeded plants. In this group, seeds are not included in fruits. Gymnosperms are further divided into psychedelies, coniferales, and genitales. In psychedelies, the seeds are directly found in sporophyll, having pinnate leaves. They are dioecious that each plant are either male or female. Next is coniferales. They are cone-bearing seed plants, as the name shown. Mostly they are trees and some are shrubs. Examples are pines, spruces, etc. Third one is genitalis. It is a division of plants within the gymnosperms that have two cotyledons, opposite leaves, vessels in wood. They are mostly xerophytic woody gymnosperm plants. Next seed bearing group is angiosperm. Here, angio means bag like structure or enclosed structure, and sperm means seed. So plants where seeds are enclosed inside fruit belong to angiosperm. Here ovary is present having ovules. Later ovary converted into fruit and ovules converted into seeds. Angiosperms are further differentiated into dicotyledons and monocotyledons. In dicotyledons, after germination, we are getting two cotyledons. And in monocotyledons, after germination, we are good getting only one cotyledon. So in this video, you are getting the detailed information about the cryptogams and phenerogams, which are further divided into different groups. Hope you will like the video. So for further detailed videos, you can subscribe Info Biodiversity and press the bell icon for further videos. Thank you so much.